I got a bruise on my elbow and it really, really hurts. I hit it today and it really, really hurts. Look at that. Okay, <laughs> now that that's out of my system. Um, today is Tuesday, obviously. Uh, I meant to do this video yesterday, but my sister and my mother were home. And I thought it'd be really weird if I was sitting in front of the computer screaming and swearing at it. Like I do every time. So I decided I'd save it for today. But that means this is probably going to be a longer video. Um, so stick in, sit down, enjoy the ride, or click out right now. This way? This way. Depends on what kind of browser you're using. Um, so this weekend I went out and bought Dexter Season 2. Uh, I love Dexter. It's a great TV show if you haven't seen it. I suggest you go out and watch it. I own season one and now I own season two. And I think I'm like on the fourth episode. Uh, but I went online and I was trying to figure out how many more seasons there were and it turns out that the seventh season starts in September. If that isn't a mouthful. So I have to go out and buy about eighty dollars worth of seasons before then so I can catch up and just kind of watch it on a regular basis. Um, if you don't watch Dexter, you should go out and rent it or something, or catch it on TV, because it is really a good show. Um, yeah, that was kind of like the highlight of my weekend. I mean, I had people over on Saturday, but I'm sorry if any of you are watching this right now. Uh, kind of am in love with Dexter, so... Um, on the not TV side of the spectrum, I have been reading a ridiculously amount of books lately. It started like four or five months ago when I started really getting into reading constantly. Um, there are several reasons why I've been reading a lot uh, lately. Uh, one is I enjoy reading. But I never really had time in the past, so this year I've been catching up and re- not so much catching up, but uh, trying to <laughs> remember all the books that I once read a long time ago. Uh, I have more time, like I said, on my weekends, so I spend a lot of my time reading on my weekends. And then there's the fact that I'm a senior and I can do whatever the fuck I want, as in not pay attention in class and just read. Um, I started off my reading excursion with Twilight. Uh, judge me all you want, but I don't really care. I read the books originally, like, in 7th or 8th grade, so it's been a long time since I've read them. And, um, wasn't that into them the first time around. Still not that much into them. Uh, yeah, that, that's pretty much the gist of it. I never really liked Bella Swan as a character because she was always being a whiny little bitch. But I connected on her with her a little bit. So, I mean, I still kind of connect with her just a tiny bit, but reading them a second time around, she kind of annoyed me. And Edward started to really annoy me this time around, too. Uh, so, yeah. That, that, that wasn't really... Okay, I redeemed myself by rereading all the Harry Potter books, and I caught a lot of stuff I didn't catch the first time, like Ted Tonks, Tonks's father, uh, he's in the first book for about, like, two seconds. He's a, I think he's a newscaster or a weather reporter, so there's that. And then, uh, they mention Sirius in, like, the first or second book. I think it's the first book. Yeah. And it's just like a bunch of little things that like J.K. Rowling just kind of like pulled this guy out of nowhere and it was like, oh, now he's in the be death the seventh book and now he's dead. Uh, so yeah, props to J.K. Rowling. <laughs> and right now I'm on Mockingjay of the Hunger Games series, uh, which I also read a while ago. Um, that... I'm realizing it was more of a violent book than the first time I read it through. I mean, 
the first time I read it, I was like, wow, that's kind of an interesting way to look at things. And now I'm going back, I'm like, wow, this the movie should be rated R or something because it's like, oh, I just ripped that guy's eyeball out. Oh, whatever. But, um, Susan, Susan Collins, she, uh, does a good job with making the book violent without putting swear words in it. Like, you know, like a typical teenager these days screams their fucking head off and just swears all the time, but she makes it so that Katniss never, nobody really swears. I think the worst word in all the books was hell. So props to her for that. That's, that's, an, I don't know, that kind of impressed me. Um, after this, I'm going to be rereading Identical by Ellen, Ellen Hopkins, because I really enjoyed that book. And then I think I'm going to do The Time Traveler's Wife after that, and after that I... I don't have anything else to read. Uh, I'm going to go to Barnes & Noble, I think, this weekend and pick a new book. Speaking of books, I went to my school's library today, and the librarian had a freak out on me because I took out all these books on drugs. Um, because my research paper is about drugs for English. Uh, my, my research topic is, is an addiction, the person's fault, or can it be associated with mental illness? Cause it had to be argumentative. I know it is. Uh, and that's kind of way the way I went with it. I was originally going to do stuff about the Nuremberg trials and the code and stuff, but apparently the school library has nothing on that, and I really didn't feel like going out to my public library and looking it up. So I'm just going to do it about drugs. I have a list of things. I gotta look at it. Oh, uh, my hair, for the none of you that noticed, is not as poofy as it normally is. It's flat, which this is what my hair looked about like about two years ago, but it was a little bit shorter. Like maybe that much shorter. And I need a fucking bang cut. Look at that, that's ridiculous. Uh, I cut my hair in 2010, right before junior year, and gave it all away to Pantene's Beautiful Links program, uh, and it was like, super chopped, and I said I was never growing my hair out again, and then this year I decided I wanted pretty long hair for graduation, and it's a pain in my fucking ass, but at least it looks good now. Because it was really awkward when it was like right here. I hated that. That was awkward. And I'm considering keeping it because I've been saying I'm going to get rid of all of it after high school, but it kind of looks really nice. And here's one of the last things on my list of things I had to talk about. There are. 79 days until 79 actual calendar days. So everybody knows. Calendar days. All calendar days. There are 79 calendar days until the upperclassmen costume dance thing called social. And I fully intend to go as a full out zombie this year because that's kind of what my costume was earlier this year. But I'm going to do it like I'm going to eat your brain zombie because I'm into that kind of stuff. There are 98 days until I graduate, 169 or 170 days until I move into college, depends on which day I get, and 279 days until my 19th birthday. Which brings up the final point of the evening, ladies and gentlemen, is that tomorrow I'm going to do a sleep day special on, uh, reasons the world is going to end because uh that's supposed to happen this year on my 19th birthday because whatever higher being up there just doesn't like me and wants to make sure I spent all my life in college or in school um so going on 10 minutes here if you stuck with me uh props to you if you didn't you don't see this so it doesn't matter so uh See you all tomorrow on the 29th of February.